everyone, I'm Heather. I'm a corporate communications professional at Applied Materials. I'm constantly reading the news and it's concerning to see all the articles about climate change and the recent record-breaking temperatures. I know Applied is already doing a lot to take action, but I wanted to learn more from two experts, Ben and Elena. Let's go meet them. I'm Ben. I've worked in academic research, public policy, technical consulting, supply chain management, and I've spent the past few years here at Applied as a chemist in the sustainability group, working to improve the environmental performance of our products. I'm Elena, and I've spent 13 years working in the sustainability space, helping companies track and manage their climate and energy impacts. I oversee our climate programs that apply to make sure we're staying on track to meeting our climate goals. It's great to meet you both. I I'm excited to learn more about the programs you're working on to support Applied's sustainability goals. It's great to be here. Happy to be here. I know we're already making an impact at Applied with some of our sustainability goals, but can you explain more about how the semiconductor industry can play a role? And then can you share some examples about what we're doing to protect the planet? The semiconductor industry most people are familiar with has, has been steadily marching forward for decades with more advanced products every year. That means that chip making gets more complicated with each generation and requires more energy and generates more emissions with every unit produced. Rapid growth in products like artificial intelligence and demand for uh, connected devices like um, activity monitors, uh, smart thermostats, the so-called internet of things, that's driving demand for more and more chips every year, which is compounding that growth in emissions. Mm. So, Elena, could you dive a little bit deeper about what we're doing for some of Applied sustainability goals? Absolutely. Before we dive into what Applied is doing, let's get some key climate concepts down first. Yeah. Starting with greenhouse gas emissions, which are gases that are emitted into the atmosphere, like carbon dioxide or methane, and they're accumulating in the atmosphere, trapping the sun's heat like a blanket around the earth. Mm -hmm. And that's what's driving this global warming effect that we hear so much about. Right. To preserve a livable planet, we need to slow that temperature increase and limit those temperatures from rising no more than 1.5 degrees Celsius or 2.7 degrees Fahrenheit above pre-industrial levels by that 2050 date. Hmm. Okay, but why 1.5 Celsius? That seems like a pretty small number. It does, doesn't it? But think about your own body and when your temperature increases more than two degrees. How do you feel? Pretty bad when you have a fever and you're feeling sick. I mean, a few degrees is either popping an aspirin or maybe going to see the doctor. Unfortunately, the planet, unlike people, can't take an aspirin to feel better. To help the planet and frankly, to help us, we need to cool down that process. There's a global effort to reach net zero emissions globally by 2050. Mm -hmm. Net zero means is that we've reduced our emissions as much as possible and then offset any residual emissions at the end to make sure we've stopped the accumulation of those greenhouse gases in the atmosphere. Okay, that makes sense. So net zero is really just about reducing our emissions, but balancing it. So anything we put into the atmosphere, we're really taking out as well. Kind of like if you're on an escalator going up, if it's going down, you're just staying in one place. You got it right. And this is where Applied comes in with our Net Zero 2040 playbook to make sure that we're playing our part and contributing towards that Net Zero trend. So I know AI and IoT are really fueling our growth, and that's great, but it really comes with the cost of the emissions produced. And that, that's a pretty big challenge for us, right? Yeah, you're absolutely right. Um, so uh, if you think of it like a shipping company, right? Mm -hmm. uh, just like they need uh, trucks and logistic systems to manage moving all those packages around. If they want to operate more efficiently, they've got to get more efficient trucks. Now, chip makers need tools like ours to make their product. And just like a truck manufacturer can design a more efficient vehicle, Applied is making innovative products that can enable our customers to use less energy, generate less emissions while being just as, if not more productive. One of our flagship products, iSystem, enables communications between the tools in the fab and the support equipment in the subfab needed to run those tools iSystem can even idle some of that support equipment when it's not needed. So just like turning off the lights in a room when you leave, it doesn't sound like much, but it adds up. We see emissions reductions uh, in fabs running iSystem of around 10,000 metric tons of CO2 per year. Wow, that's a lot of emissions saved. Yeah, besides uh, making more efficient tools and more advanced control systems, we're working with our suppliers and our customers through industry consortia to make sure that we're developing the metrics to, so we can all speak the same language and really address this problem together. 
it's it's really an all hands on deck effort. This has been really insightful to hear. We've learned so much about the actions we're taking and Applied's commitment to our responsible growth. Thank you both Ben and Elena for being here and really explaining how Applied is leading the industry to make a more sustainable future for everyone. Thank you. Thank you.